Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a brand new way of doing print then cut because Cricut have updated Cricut Design Space so it would appear that now we can do full page print then cut without having to mess about with all the different things that we used to have to do to get it to cut on a full page. So I'm going to get these elves all set up and then we will go through exactly what has changed. So here we are in Cricut Design Space and I've got these lovely Santa's Elves designs all up on my screen already and they are really sort of set up to print on an A4 sheet. So of course previously we couldn't do this without messing about either in Photoshop with registration marks in the corners or going into Cricut Design Space making boxes and putting them behind you know and, and basically confusing our machine and cheating it into doing a full page print then cut but it would appear that now we don't need to do any of that and of course it's not a true full A4 um, print then cut because it you know unless they really really do change it we're never going to see that but this works brilliantly so if you can see what I've done I've just got all of these elves on here and it, this is more or less how you're going to get it to fit on an A4 sheet. So um, what I'm going to do is I've already attached it and they're also grouped. Um, I don't really need to flatten because this is actually a print then cut image from designbundles.net. I'll link it down below for you. It was a bundle with loads of little stickers in them and I've used them previously. I put them on the packages that I send out from my website this time of year. Um, so I'm going to go up to make it and watch what happens there you go they're all there on one sheet ready to go on an A4 piece of paper well letter size because it's American but basically A4 sheet of paper and look at that it's filled the page and we never used to be able to do that if you want to see how we used to do it I'll link a video above now for you to show you how it used to be but this is amazing however just want to say to you that I have seen a couple of people have commented in some groups that I'm in that it's not working for everybody so it might be worth you updating your software I am running version 6.17.143 at the moment so it's well worth trying to see if you can update if your computer doesn't update to this what you'll need to do is uninstall Cricut Design Space and then reinstall it and you'll get the latest version of the software that's available for you. I am running this on iOS, so not on Windows. I don't know whether it will work the same on Windows. I might have to install Cricut Design Space on my son's laptop and see whether it is the same on there. But how exciting is this? So now we don't need to mess about with any registration marks, any grey boxes or anything like that. I'm going to link my previous print then cut videos above and down below for you. And I hope you're as pleased as I am to see this improvement in Cricut Design Space for something that we all use so much. So that was just a quick video today just to show you that. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. All that is left to be said now is have a great week. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye.